In the summer months, getting in your car can be a miserable experience, especially after it's been out all day. I just recently went to a uh, uh, an event in Dallas where my truck was on a pavement parking lot the entire day, and I got inside of that truck uh, after that uh, long exposure to the summer sun. It was cooking, and it was terrible, and unfortunately that can have deadly consequences uh, for those pets and those people that we leave uh, in those vehicles, but there are a few things you can do to keep your car from being so uncomfortable when you get into it. For one, you can use towels and, and things to cover up the upholstery in the car. Uh, strategically, of course, you, you want to use like a, a towel or something over the, uh, the steering wheel so that the steering wheel itself, it's usually uh, leather, doesn't get too hot. You can also use uh, blankets on your, uh, if you have vinyl or leather upholstery on the, the seats and that kind of thing, the console, that will keep those from getting too warm. Uh, now, another thing is uh, you can crack the windows. Now, the thing is that cracked windows can't always be in your favor. Sometimes that's a security issue, but if you just crack them ever so slightly, even just enough to where air can escape, that's going to allow air to fluctuate just a little bit. And if you couple that with a solar-powered fan that's in the vehicle exposed to the sunlight, that can help as well. Now, of course, we all have those uh, wind, those the windshield covers, right? Uh, and uh, you know those can make a pretty big difference. But when the sun's on all sides, sometimes that doesn't make too much of a difference. It can help a little bit, but you know sometimes you want to make sure that you're covering the actual surfaces that warm up as well. You can also get a dash cover. Sometimes it's just a blanket. Sometimes they have actual specific dash covers that will, again, keep the sun, the sunlight and the heat from uh, hitting that dashboard and then radiating through the rest of the car. Something else that you can do to make it a little less, even if you want to, don't want to do those things long-term throughout the whole day, if you open the car, uh, open the car doors for a few minutes before you, uh, before you leave, or, or even crack the windows, if you don't want to leave the doors, or the windows cracked throughout the whole day, crack them 10, 15, 20 minutes before you leave. If you want to even run the car for just a few minutes while those windows are cracked, and that'll kind of help to circulate the air inside, make it a little less awful. That's what I do with uh, the truck when I'm getting my uh, my infant into the truck. I, you know, I try to cool it down a little bit, so I'll open the doors or I'll crack the windows while it's running for just a few minutes, kind of cycle out that warmer air, get the cooler air moving, to where it's, there's a little bit more filtration and that kind of thing going on. If you have tips, make sure to put those in the comments below because we Texans know how to deal with the heat. We do it all the time, so I'm sure you have great ideas that you can share. So share those ideas in the comments here. Uh, if you have a topic that has not been covered on the Tuesday tips that you want covered or things that uh, you would like me to research for you, put those in the comments as well. I'd love to do a segment on that. Tomorrow we're going to talk about some. We're going to be talking about some serious, serious heat that occurred back in 2011, just a few years ago, that actually took on the summer of 1980 in terms of records, uh, which was on last week's Wild Weather Wednesdays. I think you're going to find this one interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.